All right. Jay, see you back. Bye, guys. See you later. I'm always super jealous of Ben and Derek on Tuesday and Thursday now because I like meet them for lunch, so they board there and I have to drive there and then they get to skateboard back to the office and I have to drive like some chump. And they're totally gonna beat me back too. That's the thing, like I'm in a car, I should at least go faster, but no. No, especially in the city, all the stoplights, they're gonna beat me back. <sighs> ha! I ended up winning, got back to the office first because all the lights were green and I got super lucky, but I bet they're not far behind. Look what we did with all of the balloons. There are so many. I have discovered a traffic vortex on Wednesday mornings. Wednesday I have to leave early from my house to drop off Luke at my parents and then I come to the gym. But I've discovered this weird situation where if I leave like an hour ahead of time, I get to the gym almost 20 minutes early. But if I leave only like 55 minutes ahead of time, I will be five minutes late so there's a weird there's a weird amount of time in there that the traffic because so many people are going to work can affect it's like it's like seconds matter but what's weird about traffic vortexes is they don't always work in the same direction when I used to have like a proper office job I remember discovering one day that by leaving 10 minutes later I could still arrive at the exact same time because the traffic just allowed for it that was a nice discovery so have you ever found yourself in a traffic vortex? Let me know. Say good morning, Luke. Somewhat eventful morning, a little bit. Beth was gonna take uh, a day off school today to try to recharge her batteries. It's been a full month since she's been back and she had the day off and had the sub in place and then ended up getting a little bit sick last night. So uh, the good news is everything was already prearranged. The bad news is her relaxed day was sort of turned into a sick day. So <laughs> you were getting heavy. But the somewhat more exciting news, I don't think I've actually mentioned in the vlog yet, is that Beth, has officially turned in her resignation from her school and uh, next year at least, I don't know how long, but at least for next year, she's going to be a stay-at-home mommy with Luke here. Yay! Are you gonna have fun hanging out with mommy every day? Uh-huh. Uh huh. I think it was a little bit bittersweet for her. She really likes being a teacher, and uh, but I think she really also wanted to stay home with Luke, but... Um, we decided we could make it work, and I am excited. I think it's gonna be cool. I 100% support this decision, and because I think if you have the opportunity to be the ones uh, raising your kids day in and day out, you should totally take it. Because, like, it's what's so weird is it's not like something you can go back and do later. Like, you can't get this time back. You can't be like, oh yeah, no, at some point I will take some time off of work to go raise my baby. Because if you don't do it while it's happening, then the time is gone. And most of the things that you really, like you might want to go do, you can just be like, I, I can just postpone it until later in life. But at that point, they're older and you can't do that. And we want to spend as much time with you while you're this big as we can, Luke. He's already getting so much bigger so fast. Also, you're totally welcome for explaining how time works and how people age. I'm sure you needed that explained to you. What do you guys think of my Star Wars PJs? Beth's mom got these for me for my birthday. Here's the situation I presently find myself in. Back there is where there are storms. It has been thundering all day. The clouds don't look too bad right now though. Over there is where I live. So I got dropped off at work today and all I have is my boosted board to get home. So 
I need to try and get there and hopefully it won't rain on me. The last time I tried to ride home, I did not make it. I got like 400 yards away. It was so close. So I'm gonna try a different route this way. Hopefully we're gonna make it. Hopefully we're not gonna get rained on. I will update you when I arrive or don't arrive. I put it in eco mode so I can go further, but it's significantly slower. But so far we're chugging along pretty good. And I should probably put the phone down. My prediction is that Beth sees this and says, you should not film while you're riding. Oh yeah, we made it. That was awesome. It was like we, there, I had, there's like five little bars. I was on the last one, but we made it. It took a new route on the way home. Oh, so exciting that I know I can get two and from the office on the board. There's still a bunch of other considerations. Like, I think when you're going that distance and you're going almost to full battery life, you have to consider like every ounce is probably counting. So I have to be wearing not a lot of weight, but oh, mm, the possibilities. Also, I wish I could go faster. The eco mode is great because I can make it, but I wish I could go at like the full 20 miles an hour, 22 miles an hour. This is keeping me at a cool 16, but either way, ah, so exciting. Bit of a situation we are having this morning. Beth and I are supposed to be going to Virginia Beach today for a wedding. One of Beth's roommates, congratulations, Courtney, super happy for you, but she woke up and her breast pump simply not working, won't do its thing. Has a second one, it is at her classroom at school. Problem is, it's Saturday and schools are completely locked. So we've been trying to hunt down a key to get into the school or a way to borrow a breast pump or a way to simply buy a different one. The hospital pharmacy where we're renting our current one from is closed on weekends for some reason. Like people at hospitals don't need pharmacies on the weekend. What? The other thing is it's, this is all happening at like six in the morning. So nobody's awake and nothing's open, right? So it's impossible to get anything. Uh, anyway, finally we were able down to track down the teacher who has the 24 seven key going to her house now. Beth is packing for the trip. Luke, thank goodness, has just been asleep through everything, but it's been a crazy morning. Boom. very early. We were the very first people at the church. We were like, whoa, look at us. On time and everything. We like asked around, we got into the bathrooms, we were changing clothes. And that's when I realized I had forgotten my pants. <laughs> All the way back in Roanoke. They tell us, oh, well there's a mall. You could probably get some pants there. And they had a bunch of other really unhelpful suggestions, but that was like, there's a mall. We gotta get there. So I hop in the car and take off towards the mall. I try like three or four pairs of pants. I find a nice pack. And a JC Penny, right? And a JC Penny. <laughs> just walk in, find the first thing I can, try them on, they fit, boom, good. We're heading back. All I need is black pants, right? It's not like a huge thing. So in the meantime, mm -hmm. I'm waiting around, kind of twiddling my thumbs. Mm -hmm. I feel awkward and I feel the need to tell everyone why I'm by myself, <laughs> which in retrospect was not the best idea. Well, see, the fact is that you're even saying it this way. My, my assumption was that people were asking you, where's Jonathan? But you were just volunteering the information ahead of time. I get back almost on time, which is to say, I walk back into like the lobby area of the church right as the like processional has started. So 
there's like all the bridesmaids and groomsmen are just chilling back there and I'm like ah oh, crap now I gotta wait for everyone to go in and sit down and then I can like sneak in the back peek out around to see that I think everyone's cleared and the the people that were there had cleared but now the only person standing there is Kelly the bride so I'm like <laughs> the first person to see her before they open the door and she looks over and I'm like oh hi <laughs> I finally sit down, and every single person around us is like, I see if that's pants. Then, this is the worst part, is that <laughs> everyone's, they do the whole wedding, whatever, it's fine, it's a nice wedding, congratulations Kelly and Steve. They're leaving, they're leaving, and the groom walking down the aisle, Steve, he walks past me, he goes, nice pants, man. It's <laughs> like, ah! How does the whole place And Jonathan follow? like gives me the death glare. It's pretty embarrassing that day.